Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome in. My name's Shannon. We are here today with an Aquarius reading. That's at least the first one I'm going to do today. See how our week is starting out. See what spirit has to say. Starting off with the Queen of Swords. Looks like we are protecting ourselves and not taking any bullshit, especially with the Seven of Wands on the bottom of the deck. We have our guard up. Let's see why. Show me the recent past, please. Why are we guarded? The tower. The tower here in the recent past with the Ten of Swords definitely came to a finality in regard to something here. We'll clarify that. Near future, we're seeing the Seven of Pentacles. Let's get what's crowning. Crowning, we have the King of Wands. And in the foundation here, we're getting two. We have the Fool and the King of Cups. All right, guys, so let's talk about it. Looks like Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck, though I am not reading this as being your energy. I am reading this as being this King of Wands energy. So what I'm picking up here, guys, is that for some of you, we had a tower event where somebody new has come into our space, into our energy. And it looks like we already had someone that we had been dealing with for quite some time. I'm going to clarify this, but the way I'm reading this right now is that you've decided to end things. This could be a fire sign. You could be dealing with this new person. Could potentially be a water sign. They don't have to. But I'm definitely picking up that your energy is this queen of swords. And you have just decided like, okay, yep, the tower fell. We're moving forward. We're stepping into this seven of pentacles energy. Where we're really trying to work on something. Or maybe you had been trying to work on something with this King of Wands person for quite some time and kind of got sick of it. Let's see. Show me the tower, please, Spirit. What is this tower? The tower, we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. So I feel like this tower happened because whoever this King of Cups is came in offering you something that looks really nice and shiny and bright. Now, if it is actually that, who's to say? I'm not sure yet, but I do see you making a decision here to take a leap of faith in a new direction. Let's clear clarify this. Yeah, we have the two of cups on the bottom of the deck. The page of swords and the ten of cups. So yeah, you were definitely interested in looking into whatever this new possibility is for you. Fair enough. No judgment here. Let's clarify this king of wands. Let's see what this... Again, the three of swords. Wasn't that on the bottom when he came out the first time? the ace of swords so it's like you gained clarity about this person that you had been trying to work things out with or build something with show me this three of swords we have the page of cups and the ten of swords so i feel like this person was not mentally or emotionally giving you what you needed and we have this other person coming in on the back end. So this this is in your foundation. So this could have been potentially a person that you knew previously. Show me the seven of pentacles, please. Queen of pentacles. And the six of pentacles. Yes, my friends. Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, yeah. You've decided to release whoever this King of Wands is. That's done, dusted, over, finito. 
we have this other person coming through and you are looking to grow something reciprocal with this person. You're looking to attain and it looks like this person is offering it to you, but you're looking to get what this other person here was not giving to you. They were not fulfilling you mentally, emotionally, physically. And we have somebody coming in here. We have the tower coming through, knocking all this out. You standing here in your queen of swords energy and accepting this new potential, new or old. It is in the foundation. So I feel like this is somebody that you may have known or somebody who may be like coming back around. Let's see what your next step's going to be, Aquarius. Interesting. 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 Good for you, though. If somebody is not giving you what you need, you have every right to move the hell away from that. You are not, you know, you don't need to be wasting your time trying to figure out somebody else who maybe doesn't want to let you in. All right, next up for Aquarius. What is Aquarius' next step here? Starting out with the Five of Swords. I get the feeling that whoever that King of Wands is, is going to be trying to shine you in a less than sterling light. Let's get some more information, but if that's the case, screw them, you know, you've got to worry about yourself. I mean, I, I hate to sound harsh, but the energy that's coming off of this reading is like, you were trying, you were the only one trying, and now this person is like going to be, yeah, we have the two of pentacles here. You're done. You're done trying to juggle this bullshit. You're like, I'm taking what's being offered. See ya. Sometimes we have to act in our own best interest. And I see that that's exactly what you're doing. You're making moves to go forward. I apologize. My phone just started to ring. I forgot to put it on. Do not disturb. Yeah, we're still recording. Okay. Show me the near future of this Five of Swords, please. The Hanged Man. We have the Hanged Man and the Magician. I feel like for some of you, this is necessary not only for yourself, but for the other person. Because this is going to let that other person give them some perspective on how they've been behaving. Like, do I really want to treat people like this? Do I really want to leave people hanging mentally, emotionally, physically, in every sense of the word? Like, of course they're going to walk away. What did I expect, you know? Show me what's crowning. Crowning, we have the Three of Swords again. So I, Aquarius, I get it. I, I, I feel like you feel bad for making a move that was necessary for you to get on with your life. Don't let yourself get stuck in that for too long. Just if you haven't gone through this yet, walk through this with compassion and empathy. That's, that's all we can do. We can't stay stuck in situations that don't serve us because we're worried about the other person's emotions. And I know I am coming off incredibly harsh, but if this is your reading, you're going to understand why I am talking this way about this situation. Let's see what's in the foundation here of our next step. Temperance. Like I was saying, <laughs> we're gonna receive what we give, right? So it's going to be important for you here to try and remain balanced. Try and remain grounded. Try not to be too much in your head about, you know, potentially hurting someone. Just maybe keep it under wraps a little bit more. Maybe don't rub it in their face quite as much. But whatever this is, Aquarius, this is happening for a reason and it's happening because you're worthy of love and you're worthy of reciprocity and you're worthy of being with a person who's going to 
give to you what you give to them. Be that good, bad, or indifferent. We all deserve that. And I see that that's the direction that you're going to be stepping in here. All right, my friends, that's where we're going to leave it at today. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I love you all so much. I really, truly appreciate you guys, and I hope you're having an amazing Monday. I'll talk to you again soon.